Hey everybody, this is the Sliders Review, and I'm here today to talk to you about So Weird Season 2 Episode Troll. So this was a fun little episode where CGI was on point and it had some really good practical effects in terms of like a mask. And so what was so unique and interesting with this episode is just like you watch it and you're not quite sure what the world is going on, right? And when you get that twist, you're like, holy crap. It's something like out of R.L. Stein. And I appreciate that a lot. So the entire gang is like, you know, on the road and they stop at a bed and breakfast. And so like, um, what is it? Um, is that like an old lady's place, right? And so she's this sweet, kind, lovely little old lady and everything. And so they're there and Fee and Jack have decided, all right, fine. Fee's not going to do the freaky stuff and Jack's not going to do the um, belittling of her and stuff. He's not going to make fun of her and stuff. And so at some point in time, we see like the old lady starts talking to like all the characters like one by one, right? And so first is Irene and she just asked Irene like a history question like what country came to like uh, well named America first or something like that and so we don't see what happens but then all of a sudden Irene is gone and we see the old lady take Irene's cell phone and put it in a cover uh, in a drawer full of other cell phones. So then, like, you know, as, like, time is going on, we see she's starting to ask more questions. She asks that of, like, um, what's Irene's husband's name? Um, I forget, Ned. She asks him a bunch of questions about, like, Norse uh, mythology. And he's getting them all right. But then all of a sudden, she asks one that stumps him. And when he doesn't answer and answer incorrectly, she's all like, Oh, my stars and garters. <laughs> and so then all of a sudden, Ned is gone. And then so Carrie sees some weird looking fruit. And the fruit happens to have, it looks like it has people faces on it. So of course, Free, oh, not Free. <laughs> I'm about to say Freaky, Fee. So Fee sees that and she wants to get under her whole weird freaky thing. And then she's like, oh crap, I can't. Cause you know, the whole bet she made with Jack. But then, you know, you know, she wants to get like investigated into this, you know what I'm saying? And so at another point in time, we see like, you know, it's Clue's turn, not Clue, but Carrie's turn to like ask, um, get a question asked, right? And so like, um, yeah, I'm very scatterbrained tonight. I just watched the uh, live, well, not really so much live action. The, um, it's kind of live action, kind of like computer generated Lion King movie. And I am just baffled because I love the Lion King to death and nobody has any expression on their face because it's hyper realism. And I'm just like so disappointed. But anyway, back to, um, so weird. So she asked Carrie and of course Carrie's dumb as rocks. And even before he can answer, she's like, oh, my stars and guards. <laughs> <laughs> and stuff. Well, at some point in time, Fee starts to see a giant like pumpkin that looks like Ned. <laughs> and so she's really like, oh crap, dude, this is like something, you know what I'm saying? And then all of a sudden they contact Irene because they don't know where she is. She's been gone all afternoon. And so all of a sudden Molly realizes her cell phone is coming from the drawer in the kitchen. And when she asks the lady, of course, the lady puts um, that magic spell on like Molly and stuff. So now it's only Jack and now it's only um, Fee. And so Fee knows it's something up with like, you know, this woman. And I, I think she does some research on like the internet and stuff like that. Cause she's been getting contacted by that mysterious person, right? And so Fee's all like, I know it's you and you did something, blah, blah, blah. So Jack is like his whole like, oh, I don't believe it <laughs> and stuff like that. And Fee's all like, look, man. Um, must be like a troll or something like that. So you can ask me seven questions and if I get them all right, you have to turn everybody back to normal and stuff. 
So she starts asking a bunch of questions and Fee starts answering them. But then Jack decides he's going to answer one for Fee and gets it wrong. So then she turns him into fruit. And the CGI is good. So Fee gets upset and it's all like, you said he couldn't answer for me. But then the lady doesn't care. You know what I'm saying? And so then all of a sudden, the woman transforms into a troll and everything. A giant freaky looking troll with a, uh, the mask is pretty good. I'll give them that, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it could have been a little bit better, but it's good for what it is and stuff. And so the troll dude, he's all pissed and he's all like, um, the reason why he does this when people come to the bed and breakfast, um, because he doesn't like humans. He said that Odin, the king of the gods in North mythology, killed his uncle and everything. He just doesn't trust people. So this is why he does what he does. So he asked Fee the last question and I think she gets help from like the internet, like that person that contacts her. So of course, uh, Fee, I think Fee also asked that troll a question and I don't remember yet. So she asked him a question and he couldn't answer. So now Fee has like control over him and his powers and she tells um, him, to turn everybody back to normal and to like never harm anybody ever again. So then it turns back into the old lady and so she's like, ah, oh, fine and everything. So then everybody turns back to normal. And then not only that, but there's other people cause you know, she transformed other people into like um fruit. And we see like a nun and <laughs> everything like that. And it's just a really fun, freaky episode. I like how they started getting more into like, you know, other like mythologies and other creatures and stuff. And I think the thing said something about like, you know, we don't like humans and all this other crap. And it was a nice, and I love how they explain why that is, you know, other than just having it. I like how it wasn't vague. It was an actual like explanation and everything, you know? And freaking Jack, man, like he can see all this crazy stuff happening. He's all like, eh, I don't believe it. <laughs> and stuff. And you know, it's just like, I just think this is like a really cool episode. You know, trolls are known for not letting people cross like bridges and they ask like questions and stuff. So this was like a nice little adaption and stuff. Alrighty, well, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.